Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. I am at home and remember me showing you this? I am dying to open it. What I think I might do is scan the picture, put it in a little baggie, some of them, and share with a few friends and see what they think. Um, rather than sending the whole thing to one person, and I want to check them out to make sure they're okay. I mean, they should be, but... So, I'm um, going to um, hold off here. I'll be back in just a second, and I wish my webcam would pause. I wonder if I can pause. Nope, just exposure. Ooh! I'll have to stop it and just add it. So, be back in a second. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right. I am so glad I didn't send these to anybody. Oops, French side. Looks cute and everything else. Maybe the kids would like them. Well packed all squished up. I opened one. Looks like an egg. You see that? Looks like an egg. It's really, really gummy. Like, really gummy. And it does taste a little like peach, but I don't know. Maybe the kids who really like, like, the thing, you got to chew it, like, forever. So... I will not send this to anybody. Um, I mean, they're t you know they're okay for kids if you like those kind of things. So I think I'm just going to give them to my son, and he can give them to my grandson. So review of product bought at Chapters today. It's. Uh, from Toronto, Sullivan and Bleeker Baking Company. The cute idea, but you know what? Too gummy, too gummy. Is that egg on your face? It's nut free. It's it's you know for one of the for for us Canadians who most of our children have to have uh, a nut free environment. If you want to bring these to school. Oh, I needed that. Oh, made the taste. I am not impressed. I am going to send them a comment about these, that I was very disappointed in them, and if they have any other products that are better than this. I mean. Now, big thumbs down on this one. Maybe kids would like them, but not my cup of tea. Alrighty, I'm going to stop for now. I have another Thing I want to uh, review with you that I bought, and I will return as soon as I go get it. I'll be right back. Alrighty, back. Item number two, that was the lip, and I didn't even realize it because I just saw the color. It's a lip stick with a lip gloss. Um, I didn't realize it. You have to twist the bottom off. I didn't know. I was trying to pull it. I was trying to get some gloss on here. It's supposed to be like shimmery, sparkly. I'm going to put some on here. And not very glossy. It looks glossy in there, but in person. I'm going to flip it over here so you magnify. It gives you a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But I had tried the lipstick alone without the gloss. And I wasn't really... It was a very flat... Uh, hmm. Maybe you're supposed to put the gloss on first. I don't know. It was okay. I mean, it was a dollar store item. I got sort of two for one. 
it was a dollar twenty-five. But like I say, in our in our uh, Dollar Trees, everything is dollar twenty-five. So it's not bad. Um, LA Colors lip gloss and lipstick duo, and I thought there'd be a number on here for the color. I've forgotten, and I threw the package out. I think I did. Yes, I did. So, item number two, it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So, I mean, I'll keep it, I'll throw it in my purse, and when I have, uh, when I get out and about and I can't find any lipstick, I'll probably leave this in the car. Well, maybe not, because it's summer now, and when it gets hot in the car, my lipsticks get awful, um, melted, like, and no. So I better leave it in my purse. Alrighty, I have one more review and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back for the next... Oh, let's take that stuff off. Okay, my next review. These cute little uh, candy lip gloss. That's the bubblegum scented and the grape scented. And I really, really like these. And I'm really hoping they're going to be cute. So, let's open her up. Oh, look at this. Can you see? Maybe you can see it better here. It's like a little candy. Alright. Oh, and it opens like two candies. This one kind of smells like grape. Let's try this one and see. This doesn't smell like anything. That's disappointing. It's got three little, I don't know if you can see, one, two, three little, I thought it was supposed to smell like bubble gum. Mm. It's okay. Maybe if somebody kissed me, <laughs> they could take Okay, let's uh, see here. Well, oh, there we go. You got to press it hard. I was worried that it wasn't going to close. This one is supposed to, that's blue. This one's purple. The middle part that's gummy. Oh no, that's just got sparklies. Alright, I'll just put them all over. A little bit of a, a bubblegum scent. I can't tell if it's bubblegum or, or grape. It's supposed to be grape, I would think. Maybe it's both combined and that's why it's a it's okay. It's cute. It's a novelty. Um, I'm a little concerned that it doesn't snap close better than that. Because you know if you throw it in your purse, well, what if it like, flips open? But it's so cute. So I'm a little disappointed in these. I mean, they're really, really cute. And they'll probably be cute to like put on something, you know, as a decoration and then just use it. I don't know if I'd throw it in my purse because it doesn't really clamp tight but it's so adorable do I have something dark that you can actually see it oh there you go see isn't that cute it is it's like a little round candy so I'm a little disappointed that but then don't forget guys it was a dollar 25 and I got two so we're looking at you know Cheapos, but it's okay. Doesn't taste like anything. I mean, there is a faint scent. It's not. Oh, there we go. It's not closed better than. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay. I was a little concerned that it might snap open, but it's actually quite. It, um, because it's just a small little little piece that goes together there 
Um, I was a little concerned that it would open up in your purse or something, but actually I don't think it would. And it doesn't, I mean, let's put this down here. Sorry. Doesn't that look cute? Like on the black, you can see it. My tape is I'm showing you my really dirty stuff here. So those are my three reviews. Um, oops, I'll go get it. That was kind of dumb. But I mean, let's face it. It's dollar store stuff. So, I mean, well, not this. This one actually cost me, I think it was $7. No, it was $5. $5 for this at Chapters. And I know it's a cute package and all of that stuff, but it's a fail on a taste test for me. This was okay. Um, I gave you my reaction to it. I'm not... Actually, this smells more like bubble gum. Maybe because of the gloss on it, I already had the other one on there. Now it smells like bubble gum, so whatever. Maybe it takes a while to maybe get to warm it up on your lips before. These are okay. They're cute. I mean, they're not the best, but they're okay. And this is the lipstick. Um, the gloss is okay. Not for me. This is a shadow. So this is just a little vlog, a little chat, a little whatever, just being a little disappointed in some things that I got. I hate spending lots of money on something and being disappointed when you get it. I mean, I don't mind spending a dollar on something and if it's like, you know, it doesn't work to my satisfaction, I will never buy it again. That's fine. But when you spend five dollars on candy, yeah, the packaging's cute, but that's what you're paying for. The candy probably cost 25 cents to make. The box probably cost, like, 5 cents to make. They made one heck of a profit on these. I mean, it's a fun thing. I think probably decoration. Keep the box for decoration because it looks fun. I don't know. Anyway, that's my little review, that's my little rant, that's my little vlog for today. Oh my goodness. I had a very long, busy day. It's really late. We're looking at 22 in the morning. Again, I wanted to go to bed early because I wanted to go and play with my grandsons tomorrow because they're off school and they asked, when is Nanny coming over? My babies. I love those boys. And you know, well, why are you whining? I fed you, I took you out, you're fine. My dog is whining. I think he wants something to eat. He doesn't need it at this time of the morning. I'll get your bone in a minute. Alrighty, that's my little blah, blah, blah for tonight. Kind of disappointed about those egg things because I thought if, uh, you know, if they were really good, I could divide some up, I mean, you know, obviously wash my hands and make it very clean and everything, and I was hoping to put a few in a little baggie, surrounded by, as I scan this, I was going to print it off, and then kind of put it together, and send it to a few friends, but I wouldn't send this. I mean, but that's just me, maybe that's just my taste. I'm not into these gooey, gummy things. I was, you know what it was? When it said peach flavor, I was thinking of those peach fuzz, peach fuzz uh, gummies. I love those, and those are very easy to chew, and they kind of dissolve. These ones chew forever. It's like a piece of gum. That's exactly what it feels like, and it's not as flavorful as I had hoped. But then I'm not a candy person, so anybody want to try it? You want to try them? I can send them. I don't mind. 
disappointment. But anyway, I'm babbling on. Thanks for joining me again. And um, if you like these silly reviews that I'm doing and these little vlogs that I'm doing, let me know. Um, if you've just joined me for the first time, oh my god, check out my other ones because this was just a silly night. Wanted to review, wanted to check them out. Tried to half okay. I mean, after all, you know, like 60 cents for each of these, so, you know, I can't complain. And they're so adorable. I mean, I love these little candies. They're so cute. Not as functional as I hoped, but they're so cute. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hi there. I just wanted to um, add this little bit onto here because I just had sort of a little brain fart, brainstorm, brain whatever it happens when you're over, over, when you're in your golden years. Is that what I'm in? The golden years? Oh my god. Anyway, get back to these. The candies. I was just thinking a couple of things um, after I stopped taping. Wouldn't it be great to have a whole bunch of these? And maybe put them in like a little glass bowl. Um, you know, maybe have a whole bunch of them. Not this bowl. This is a little cereal bowl that I use. But I have this little red glass, you know, and maybe put a bunch of them on there. Can't really see very well. Maybe if I move this down here. Oops. I'm not very good at this, am I? There we go. You know, if we had a whole bunch of them, and the colors, and with this red, would be really, really cute somewhere. You know, to twirl around, because there's only two. But if you had a whole bunch of them, maybe put even a little piece of felt on the bottom just to keep them from... But do you even just leave them? I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Can you come up with some better ideas? I mean, I was just thinking, what else could you do with them? And when they're empty... I mean, I would love to keep these little containers. Maybe you could paint them inside or, I don't know, put more in. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Any ideas on what you could do with these after they're empty? Or even now? I mean, I just think it would be such a cute idea. My brain works after everything's off. Again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, stopping by and being patient with my silliness. But um, I thought it was important to do a review once in a while. I think those are really fun. I like watching them to see what people think of different items. I keep cutting myself off. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. All I wanted to say was, um, so if you have any ideas what I could do with this stuff, with my, you know, that's egg on your face and these beautiful little candy uh, lip glosses. If you have any ideas, I'd really love to hear from you and, and let me know what what other things you could come up with what I could do with those little candy containers after the lip gloss is done or even just leave the lip gloss and try something else but um, thanks for stopping by again thanks for being part of the YouTube family and for joining me and please subscribe if you haven't uh, let me know if you like this kind of video I uh, I like doing these uh, little reviews because, you know, it's kind of nice to know how other people react or how they feel about certain products that we buy. So let me know. Um, I'd like to do this again, but uh, maybe on a monthly basis. That would be kind of fun to do a monthly review of some of the dollar store items that I buy or items I buy from other places, especially when you, you know, spend a lot of money on them. So, um, thanks for joining me again. I keep saying that. I apologize. I am so tired. It's like, oh, 2.30 in the morning. It's going 20 to 3. It's my usual late night, as per usual. Um, I just seem to be a night owl lately. I don't know. But I still get my nine hours sleep. Better than when I was working and only living on for 25 years. Four or five hours sleep. That was it. Um... Go to bed at midnight, I'd be up at 5, or 1 o'clock in the morning, I'd be up at 5 to get ready for work. So since I've retired, I sleep 9 hours, and I love every minute of it. 
Sometimes I only get six, sometimes seven, six rarely, but um, I sleep well, and I'm going to sleep well tonight. Good night, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Bye for now.